So we did some really simple corrections, uh, which I'm going to demonstrate to you. But first, I'm going to show you that we restored position and mobility in the lower pelvis. So if I come and scoot medially, now there's equal distance between the medial aspect of her sit bones and the midline crease. And now we have movement. I can take up the slack. I can spring it. And the same is true on the other side. I can take up the slack and spring it. And if we go in the opposite direction, that's true. And what was really interesting is that I did not have to then treat her coccyx. After doing those, uh, the four stretches that I'll demonstrate shortly, the coccyx straightened out. So let's have you lie on your back and we'll show the four stretches that I did to correct the lower windswept pelvis. This is a pattern I discovered quite some time ago. And sometimes we'll restore normal mobility and the position is improved, but there is still an asymmetry and that is a developmental asymmetry. But in this example, we got her to symmetry. So this is the first stretch that I did and this greatly affects the hip. Um, but also affects the whole pelvis. And we did that for two minutes, uh, stretching the abductors of the left hip. And then we stretched and did a little bit of downward traction and then stretched the right hip into abduction very gently, very gently at a soft end feel. And then let's have you lie on your stomach. And palpating this lower part of the pelvis in terms of the medial aspect is not part of the traditional way of looking, of evaluating the pelvis, evaluating the sacroiliac joint. The other stretch was an internal rotation of the right hip for two minutes. And then after that, we stretched the left hip, blocking the pelvis so we don't twist her lumbar spine. And it was that simple. So once you identify a lower windswept pelvis, it's usually pretty easy to uh, treat. And you will see in other videos when someone has a rotation in the lower pubic joint, how we treat that. And you'll also see how we treat the coccyx directly when it remains side bent. Um, so you can just look up other videos on lower windswept pelvis. But thanks for letting us film you. I appreciate it.